I'd like to show you a few examples of using VBA along with Pro Max. So we have here in this example an Excel workbook where we want to create a phase envelope using properties from Promax, but here in our Excel page. So we're going to first choose what package we're using from Promax to do these calculations. And then here on the left, we can define what components and our composition that we have in our stream. And so these components are just typed in. You can delete any components you don't want. You can add any components that you do have in your stream along with their compositions. Let's make something up here. Okay. And as soon as I click Calculate, it's going to normalize these conditions. Give me a mole sum of 100% here, and it's going to recreate this graph for my new composition. Also gives us all this information in table form. And again, all this information is com coming from Promax using Promax calculations without actually opening up a Promax simulation. Here on the phase envelope, you'll see we also have our operating conditions marked, which you can change right here. So you can set those to whatever your current conditions are. And that way you can see where you're currently operating your plant. Now this is all just done with the VBA code. To get into the code, you can come up to the developer tab and choose this visual basic button. Or there is a keyboard shortcut of Alt F11 that will open this as well. So let's open the code here and You'll see that this is just normal VBA code, but we're calling upon Promax objects. You'll see here it's opening a Promax project in the background. We're grabbing these different components along with some of their properties and using all of that in VBA in Excel to print out this nice little graph. Okay, so that's one example of how this could be used. Let me show you another Excel example here. Now I have some PXY and TXY curves that I'm creating. Similarly, I can come up here and choose what package I want to use. Okay, and we can type in whatever components we would like to look at. Let's say we're going to do ethanol and water. You can type in what pressure you want this at and what temperature for your TXY diagram. And clicking execute, it's going to regenerate all of this uh, table data for you, recreate our graphs. Again, all these values are coming from Promax but it's all in the background through VBA. We don't have to actually create the simulation. Okay, and so that's one way you can use VBA is through the VBA inside of Excel. You can also use VBA to create your own program, essentially your own application with your own GUI. A simple example of that would be right here if you created your own units converter program. And this would be a real simple example, but you could come in and using Promax and its ability to convert units, you could use that in your own GUI. So a very simple example of that as well. And you could, of course, use VBA inside of an actual Promax simulation to really optimize your simulation. Some examples I've seen of that is maybe creating your own keyboard short keys in your simulation. So if you wanted a keyboard short key to execute the project, or you could create shortcuts that display the temperature throughout your project, things of that nature. You know, create drop-down menus to choose what feed you're looking at. All sorts of possibilities. You know, really the possibilities are quite endless using VBA along with Promax. So we would hope you'd use your VBA skills, your creativity, and think outside the box a little bit and see how VBA can really help you optimize your Promax abilities.